Major depressive disorder, also known as clinical depression, is a common mood disorder that causes symptoms of low mood or hopelessness for at least two weeks. Scientists are still unsure of the exact cause, but they do know that treating it is complex and people with this disorder need more effective ways to feel better. For the past 50 years, scientists have been working on improving medications that target specific neurotransmitters in the brain, such as serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. These chemicals affect how nerve cells communicate with each other, which in turn affects a person's mood. While most people respond well to standard antidepressants, about 30% of individuals who try two different types of these drugs continue to experience symptoms of depression. This is known as treatment-resistant depression. In the past 20 years, scientists have shifted their approach to treating major depressive disorder as their understanding of the brain biology behind depression has evolved. Medication research now focuses on targeting new potential areas in the brain, beyond just certain neurotransmitters. This has opened up new possibilities for developing more effective drugs for treating depression. There's a long-held belief that depression takes a long time to improve, but new fast-acting treatments have changed our understanding of what is possible in the field of depression treatment. In 2019, the FDA approved two new breakthrough drugs for depression. The first is brexanolone, Zolreso, which is specifically for postpartum depression, a type of major depression. It's a human-made version of a natural steroid that affects GABA receptors to regulate mood. Although it's not as easy to take as other antidepressants, it can work quickly, with depression symptoms improving by the end of the treatment. The second breakthrough drug is esketamine, a prescription nasal spray that boosts the activity of glutamate in the brain related to mood. It can trigger new connections in the brain and lead to improvements in depression within hours or days of use. Esketamine offers hope for people with suicidal thoughts and relief for those with treatment-resistant depression. For those with mild or moderate depression, cognitive behavioral therapy followed by conventional antidepressants is still recommended. However, more information is needed on the safety and long-term effects of these newer treatments for depression. Despite the transformative change in depression treatment over the past 20 years, there is still more to understand about which patients these treatments are best for and when to use them. Electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, has been used for over 70 years as a highly effective treatment for major depressive disorder, especially when other treatments haven't worked. Over the years, scientists have improved the procedure to use less energy, which reduces the impact on memory and thinking skills. Another option is transcranial magnetic stimulation, which has fewer side effects than ECT. This treatment works by sending magnetic pulses around your skull, which changes the way different areas of your brain communicate with each other. Both of these treatments may be helpful if other therapies haven't worked and your depression is significantly affecting your daily life. If you experience appetite changes, constant suicidal thoughts, and difficulty performing daily activities, it's important to talk to your doctor about escalating your treatment. There are several promising treatments for depression that are currently being researched. One of them is deep brain stimulation, where electrodes are implanted in the brain to send painless zaps that can help alter the electrical activity causing symptoms. This treatment is like a pacemaker for your mood, and while it's not approved for the general public yet, it may be in the near future. Another treatment being studied is a drug called SAGE-217, which has shown potential in preventing serious relapses in people with a history of depression. The idea is to take the drug as soon as symptoms reappear, rather than waiting for them to become severe. There is also a lot of interest in the use of drugs like psilocybin, found in magic mushrooms, to ease depression. Studies have shown that these substances can have similar effects to ketamine, but more research is needed before any definitive conclusions can be made. Overall, there is a lot of excitement around these new treatments for depression, but it's important to note that there is still much to learn and major depressive disorder does not yet have a cure. In the meantime, it's important to take steps to ease depression and prevent relapses, such as medication, talk therapy, exercise, a good social life, and a healthy sleep routine. These are all ways to protect yourself as much as possible.